Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 3. I'm Accounting Nightmare. Today we're doing Mission 13. Haven't used good old classic Dante in a while, so let's use him. Okay, so Virgil's about to open the gate to hell. Not good. Mission number 13 was on the wall in the background. So, let's see if we can get there in time to stop him. We do have the new fun style Quicksilver. But I'm going to use Trickster for now, and you'll see why soon. We will play with Quicksilver today though, because I love that style. And let's upgrade some guns. Max rank for Ebony and Ivory. Uh, we still need another upgrade for the shotgun. And we've maxed out Artemis. Almost maxed them all out now. I'll have everything by the end of the LP. Oh, and right away, we have a whole bunch of chessmen. Bit of a weak welcome. These guys aren't exactly exciting. They're not scary at all either. They have, what, one attack? Yes, one attack. Oh, hello. Got a new one. This one's a bishop. He shoots fireballs, as you can see. He also has a heal he can use on this friendly chessman. He's pretty easy to kill though, as long as you be careful not to attack him while he's charging his fireballs. If you do that, you will take a hit. And just jump in the air when he shoots his fireballs. And you won't get hit. Oh, you're the last one left. Are you lonely? Too easy. Oh, but too soon. We have a wave two. It's two bishops this time. A lot of chessmen in this room right now. They're all lined up nicely. The spiral goes through enemies nicely. And boom! Now yeah, we've just got some weak ass bishops to kill. Ah, tried to heal his friend. You're a bit slow there, mate. Whoa! So far we've seen the... get in the door. So far we've seen the pawn, the knight and the bishop. And I don't know how you expected to find that by yourself, but... Whatever. This staircase looks a bit like the one from last mission. Except... It has the eighth secret mission. Tough guys. Tough guys. That's a bit of a weird name. It sounds very anime-ish. But anyway. This one's a bit of a simple one. There's no gimmicks to it at all. All you have to do is kill everything. Which is easier said than done, of course. Just because it's simple doesn't mean it's easy. 
We're starting off with some nice simple spiders. Annoying, but simple. Killed one of the three. There's only two left. Or is there? A big one spawned in. So we'll go after the big one. Because I hate the big ones a lot. They're also very good at catching you off guard. And it's low on health. Hit it a few more times. And we'll spiral it to death so it doesn't create any BBs. Oi, don't web me. I really don't like the web move because when they do it off screen it's really annoying. I don't know if it has an audio cue or what, but if it does have one it's really quiet. And we've got another big one spawned. So naturally we'll go after him next. You only have a total of three spiders in here at any one time. But there are five of them in total. Three small ones and two big ones. Okay, he's pretty weak, so we'll go after these annoying babies. And you need some weakening. Now you might be wondering why I'm not just killing them one by one. That's because I want to kill them all around the same time. I guess there is a reason for this. But something nasty spawns next. And that's all of them dead. Yes, that is what you think it was. A hell vanguard. And yes, that is a second Hell Vanguard. Yes, now you can see why I'm using Trickster. Well, I suppose Quicksilver might be useful here. I had more luck with Trickster though. So we pick a target. And we desperately try and dodge them. Which is easier said than done when they're both teleporting at the same time. Yeah, I can't even tell what's going on. Very hard to keep track of them both. Because you don't know what they're both doing. So I like jumping and the tricks to dashing. Of course, you do want to kill one first, but it's very easy to lose your target. And that one's almost dead. And then this will be a lot easier. And there we go. And now this one's easy. Phew! I rather like that secret mission. It's not gimmicky like most of the others in this game. You just kill enemies. And the two hell vanguards at the same time are really fun. If a bit unfair. But anyway, we've got a couple choices here. We'll go through the door first. To the Hell's Highway. Where we find nothing but a blue orb fragment we can't get yet. What a tease. So, we'll go down the corridor. And we've got more choices. Well, this leads to a dead end. But, at least we get a Devil Star. Nice. And there's something in here. Oh, it's just more chess pieces, don't worry. A lot of them haven't even woken up yet. Let's wake them up. Kind of dangerous when there's this many of them, but I like doing devil triggers, but 
Right in the middle. You can catch a whole ton of them in one explosion. You hit triple S instantly. But they are just optional. So, let's go through here. To another light puzzle. Ooh. These puzzles are cute. So if you want to figure out this puzzle, if you like these sort of things, just pause the video because I'm about to give away the solution. Have you figured it out yet? Yep, it's impossible. Yep, it's a dick move. And through here, we find another statue. Yes, that's rather cool. But pretty funny when you think about it. And we have this, let's face it, we've got a key. It opens a door, it's a key. That is all. And another secret mission which we're going to come back to because I want to switch styles for that one because I find that one quite annoying and we have more chess pieces, dear god well, chess pieces are boring at this point so let's just pass by them and you may notice I just got some devil trigger from trickstering past some enemies Yes, you get Devil Trigger for getting good dodges and such. You also get style points for trickstering at the right time. But anyway, we need to swap to Nirvan. And now we have a huge door, which we're not going to go through yet. And we have a really big Devil Trigger orb. I like that. So, down here, yes, we have a Nirvan statue. A nasty one at that. A lot of people have trouble with this one. It's not too hard once you know Nirvan, but when you're still learning it, this one's a real bastard to, to break. Swapping to Swordmaster definitely helps. A lot. And of course, doing a guitar solo is perfect for breaking it. And now, we're going to revisit that secret mission. So we'll swap to Quicksilver. Ah, Quicksilver. Really fun style. Now we get to see what it can do. And all these chess pieces are gone. Good. Never liked them anyway. And so is the light puzzle. Odd. So our ninth secret mission is target practice. We have to shoot lots of enemies before they escape. Really kind of irritating. I don't like this one a whole lot. Yes, you have a limited time to shoot them because they're on those bloody rails. And sometimes the explosion won't kill them. That wrath, uh, that pride was blocking them, so he blocked a lot of the explosion. You can see why I'm using Spiral to finish off these bastards because the explosion never does. We're going to run out of time here, so I'm going to have to use Quicksilver. Yes, I'm switching weapons as fast as I can. Royal Guard will be useful here too, so you can cancel the uh, Spiral. But I'm quite fond of Quicksilver. Oh, we're up to the fast draw part. These guys come and escape very quickly. So I'm cheating by slowing them down. Haha! <laughs> and 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why that one was so easy just then, because the other day when I was practicing it, I spent ages just screwing it up over and over. Don't know. But anyway, let's get back to where we were at before, the, the big ominous door. Okay. Now, we can go through this big door. Or well, can we? Hmm. Have I forgotten something? Oh, that's right. Dante must die mode. I'll see you in a minute. And we're back on Dante must die mode. Now we're going to have some real fun. See, I told you it was just a key. Isn't this working? Is there something missing? Must more blood be shed? You seem to be in a bad mood. Dante. So, my mother's amulet is the key that unlocks the door to the demon world. <laughs> Good plan, Pop. Just the opposite, actually. Originally, it was the key to the demon world, but was given to humans as a gift. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. More importantly, I've come all this way. I'm sure you have time for one more game, right? Why not? After all, we share the same blood. I'll just use more of yours to undo Daddy's little spell. So, you want a piece of me, literally? Okay, bro. Come and get it. If you can. So, Virgil 2. Find us a lot of similarities with the first fight we had with him. Way back in mission seven. And he's got a few new tricks now. For starters, he's got the Beowulf gauntlets. This gives him a whole bunch of new combos he can try on us. His Beowulf attacks are all focused on punches and kicks. They've got a short range on them. They hurt like hell if he hits you with them. Whoa. What the hell? Yes, Virgil can add Devil Trigger. Cheating bastard. Oh yeah, we can Devil Trigger too. But, his Devil Trooper form is insanely powerful for some reason. And this move returns from the first fight. Only on Dante must die mode though. Once again. The difference is that now we have a very powerful counter to it in Quicksilver. Our best counter to that was... Trickster in the first fight. But even Trickster can't dodge all the sword attacks every time. And he now devil triggers at random throughout the fight. Lucky he doesn't say devil trigger though. Like us, he can only trigger for a short time. So as you can see, Quicksilver is insanely useful for this fight. We can counter his two most dangerous abilities, Devil Trigger and Summon Swords. Oh, 
use the Accelerator to trigger on me. Rule of thumb is basically if he hasn't Devil Triggered in a while, he's probably about to. Ooh, he's doubling up on me. He's a bit slow activating the arm there. But we somehow got out of that okay. It's not the end of the world if he gets his summon swords off. There are three different formations for the swords. Two of them are really easy to dodge. The third one is a bastard though. And it's hard to dodge even with Trickster. And he does this once he's low on health. That signals that now he's pulled out his old favourite, Yamato. And now he's got all of his attacks from the first fight on top of all of his new ones. Yes, he's got a crap load of attacks at this point. His Yamato attacks leave him quite vulnerable afterwards though. Because he just has to show off while sheathing his sword. Idiot. Aha. They come out much faster than the Beowulf attacks though, so I prefer the Beowulf attacks basically. That Rapid Slash especially is quite surprising. So he does come out a Devil Trigger on his own. But he, he regenerates health the entire time. So that's why you might want to force him out of Devil Trigger by attacking him. If you land a bunch of solid hits, you'll knock him out of Trigger. That's why I use Quicksilver. I thought that one might hit me there, but it did not, thankfully. Okay. Break his swords. You can break those with Ebony and Ivory too. Bang! Oh, he didn't quite die. No, he's dead. Sorry, but this is no place for a little girl. So beat it. Shut up! You forced him into this! Is that what you think? Foolish girl. Bravo! Bravo! I never dreamed that things would go so smoothly. Well done, everyone. Well done. You. Don't be a bad girl, Mary. Or you can expect a spanking from Daddy Leda. Just as gonna spank you, but spank you on the bar. buffoon! I don't know where you came from, but you don't belong here. Now leave! <laughs> Zowie, that was close. But you've taken quite a trouncing today, haven't you, Virgil? You could have chopped me into confetti by now if you were in tip-top condition. Damn you! You have lost. Because you underestimated humans. What's going on? Good girl. Pure and innocent. Just like your mother. You bastard! It's time for your spanking, my dear. Bell didn't break. Mm, Virgil. You had the two amulets and Sparta's blood. You had everything you needed to unleash the evil. I told you before, I don't like anybody who has a bigger mouth than mine. 
You are wounded and weak. <laughs> Even I can do this to you. <laughs> Two amulets. A set of Sparta's blood. Now I need one more key. He sacrificed two things to suppress the tremendous force of this tower. His own devil's blood and a mortal priestess. I needed you, in whose body flows the same blood as the sacrificed woman. His spell cannot be undone without your blood. It was quite a ride, you know. <laughs> if any of you had died before getting here, our little plan would have gone to waste. Ha! Therefore, my job was to make you battle each other in order to weaken you. But at the same time, I had to guide you here and make sure that you were kept alive. I even went so far as dressing like a complete idiot. <laughs> it's time for bed, Mary. <laughs> You can visit your dear mother. <laughs> Whoa! Try me. It's time for the clown to bow out, Arkham. Dude, the show's over. Impressive. I expected nothing less from the Devil's descendants. But aren't you forgetting something, Virgil? The spell is broken. What do you think will happen next? Let's welcome chaos. Oh shit! Everything just went to hell and back? Literally? Oh, it all comes back to Sparta in the end. And that fight is extremely fun on Dante Must Die mode. Most boss fights on DMD mode are just pretty much the same thing with more health. But the Virgil fights add the extra Phantom Sword ability which really mixes things up and makes him extremely dangerous. So, anyway, please join me for mission 14. See ya!